I'm here with artist Karen Liz Henderson, and she has turned records into works of art. Karen Liz, these are amazing. Thank you. They were really fun to make. And what inspired you to use records as a place to start? It was just something round. I love round. And records are just, everyone has them. Well, and great. they all want to get rid of them. Yes, right? So let's get let's cover up that record and turn it into yes. something new. So you have your record, but mm -hmm. make sure it's clean. They are How do you filthy. clean a record? Just with water? Just throw water? them in soap and water. Okay. Soap and water and dry them off. Okay? And then just make sure you put your stencil on. Okay. Now, you're using a big, like, 12 by 12 stencil mm -hmm. that's about the size of the record. Could you use a smaller stencil, oh, or does shit. it have to be a big one? Oh, no, one? you can use any, any size you want. You can use part of the stencil. You don't okay. even used to have to use the whole one. You can use anything you want. Right, the art is not the boss of you. Correct. You are the boss of Correct. the art. Correct, Correct. Great. So then you would just take your modeling paste. Now, I know that you told me that we're putting a photo on this. So do we oh, have to do anything yes. special? Thanks. What you do is you... Cut your, take your photo mm -hmm. and cut it any way you want. And I added a piece of cardstock to it. Okay. But you're gonna need a mask to put on so you cover the spot so it stays nice and flat when you put your photo on it. Okay. And you just use a glue stick. Are you using like wax paper or something It is for just a mask? deli paper. You can use so anything you want. nothing special. No, you, can use, you can just use cardstock, okay. anything you want. Okay, and, and you, you don't have to on. put the mask in the center, right? If I wanted oh. to put my photo onto the record here, no, you or can, three correct. photos, you could do it anywhere you anywhere want it. Anywhere you want it. Awesome. Anywhere you want it. And then you just place the stencil on your mm -hmm. um, on your uh, record, and you take the modeling paste. Now you're using a white modeling paste. Mm -hmm. Could you use any color, or are you oh, specifically yes. using the white for a reason? No. Um, you can use any color you want. You can use black. Mm -hmm. You can use any color you want. Uh, if you use black, the colors end up being a little more richer color. Um, Isn't that so interesting? Yes. Because I think instinctively we all think that white would make other colors look sort of brighter and stronger, but black, when you put stuff on top of dried black, it really does make the colors richer. And it's yes. so counterintuitive. Yes, yes. And I love the richer colors on it. But sometimes I like white. It just, it does make the colors a little bit pop, you know, especially depending on what colors you're using. I think the point is to experiment, to yes. try things. You know, I'm sure you get this all the time, which is people ask questions. What will happen if, what will happen if mm -hmm. I use that? And the answer I always give to people is, I don't know, try it. Because yep. I think you learn so much by experimenting, by trying, by asking those questions. Curiosity really is the best correct, art tool correct. that you can have. I mean, you don't have to use, um, uh, modeling paste. I mean, you can just use regular paint, but the since the uh, since, since the plastic so of the, the record, the it, acrylic paint doesn't necessarily stick to it, right? So correct. you would need to put a primer like a gesso, gesso, or that's what actually the modeling paste. So what's the difference between a primer like gesso and something like modeling paste? Well, gesso has a, a binder in it, okay. and so it really helps the paint stick to the plastic. Now, is there anything special we need to know about when you use a stencil with modeling paste? Do you need to clean your stencil differently than you normally would? Do you need to think about it differently? No. You know, I, I do stick my stencils after the modeling paste with, you know, just throw it in water, but a lot of times I leave the modeling paste on. I don't know. It just kind of gives the extra texture on, or I just forget. Well, I also <laughs> say like I hate cleaning and I think that yes. anything that stops you from making art like cleaning then Correct. forget about it yes. like it's totally fine so your stencil's a little dimensional now Cool. Yep, yep. I really just, it doesn't matter. They're, my stencils are a mess. And I want to point out that you're not trying to get every single inch nope. of the stencil. You are leaving. I see gaps of black coming through here, yes. and that's a choice. Yes, that's a choice. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I, I, you know, I love to see the record through the stencil design, too. So that's right. another reason why. Right, why use a record if you're not going to see it? Correct. That's Correct. super cool. Correct. So I'm super excited. Are we going to pull this off and yes, show what it looks like? Yes, pull it off and like? I'll show you what okay. it looks like. So, oh, Oh, it, it looks out. so cool. Yes. I love that. And now, obviously, we would set this aside to let it dry. dry. Yes. And when it is dry, we are ready for the next step. Yes. So I cheat a little. Okay. Okay. I'm not very good at hand painting. So okay. I like to take the stencil and put it right back on So this on is the again. same stencil. This is just a clean, a clean version, version of it. A clean version of it. Okay. Um, and I just stick it back on. 
Okay, and we're doing that because? Because I can just add paint on it with a sponge oh. and not have to actually use a paintbrush. Clever, so then yes. you're not getting the record at all in the background. No, not at all. And it, it, it's a lot easier too, it's, it's less messy. Mm -hmm. um, you're not trying to clean up a little spot somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I hate that when you, know, you make a mistake sometimes and it gets all over when you don't want it there. Well, it's a creative opportunity, it but is. we wish we didn't have so many opportunities sometimes. sometimes yes sometimes yes okay so you have put out some heavy bodied paint I see yes. it there and you've put out three colors mm -hmm. and is there any particular reason you've chosen those three colors well it can you can use any color you want mm -hmm. but I didn't bring green so I chose yellow because I can just mix it with the blue as I put it on the stencil. Right, and make your own. And the thing that I like so much as you stencil, I'll just sort of talk about my wax poetic about my color moment here, which is I really like mixed colors because they give so much visual variety. Mm -hmm. When you use a straight green out of a tube, it tends to just kind of look flat. But when you mix a color, mm -hmm. then look at that already. Yes. It's so beautiful because it's a different proportion of yellow to blue Correct. each time you put the sponge down. It's yes. gorgeous, Karen yes. Liz. And, and I don't really use a different sponge either. I just keep going. I was gonna say, even though you're using just white on that sponge, it's not just white. Correct. Because it's dirty. And this is what I always say to people who wanna use clean, pristine tools. I always say, you know what? There's so much accidental, happy stuff that comes out of using dirty tools. Correct, correct. All my tools are filthy. I was going to say, I feel like our studios would get along. Yes. They'd be like, oh, I, I recognize this pig pen. I feel yes. comfortable here. Yes. By the time I'm done, I'm, I'm working on a teeny tiny space and everything's filthy from head to toe. This is such a clever way to make sure that your paint just stays exactly where you want it yes. to go. And especially because modeling paste is dimensional mm -hmm. and it can have a lot of sort of cracks and, you know, Correct. and like sort of craggy areas. Mm -hmm. This does make it easier. And the light and fluffy modeling paste is porous. Mm -hmm. So what happens, what's really nice about it is as the paint touches it, it kind of soaks it in again. It almost reacts mm. a little bit again and re-wets it. Because if people aren't familiar with modeling paste, there is shiny, metallic, yes. you know, heavyweight, middleweight, lightweight. Like you can get all different kinds just like Correct. paint. I mean, that's totally amazing. Yes. So it makes it a lot of fun. There's so much to do. It does. And you can change the look of something just by changing the base. Yes, yes. Which yes. is really, really cool. Yes. And now I noticed that you are not using any particular like, hey, I'm only gonna use blue in this section and yellow in this. You're just going however no, it feels good. Whatever, whatever feels, feels good. good. I have no rhyme or reason for anything I do. Okay. Because it's just, you wanna have fun with stuff. You don't wanna just, you know, right. do it as a rule or or something like that. There's so, no rules in art. Once this is done, and do you mind if we pull off the stencil sure. so we can take a peek at that? Look how cool that looks. So then you would just remove the masking. Yep, you remove the masking, and you can put the photo on, put some lettering mm -hmm. on, leave the label, which is really cool. Correct. And if we look at the finished ones, they're just amazing, Karen Liz. This is such a great and easy Thank project. Thank you, it was. It's a lot of fun.